and we're here at the ID Tech X show. And um, who are you? I'm David Brown, uh, CEO and co-founder of Broadbit Batteries. And uh, this is the battery. This is the battery. This is real. This is real. So you have a battery in there? Yeah. Let's see. There we go. There's a Broadbit battery. And so. Uh, what's the technology in here? So in here is a sodium chloride metallic sodium battery. So on the anode side is metallic sodium and on the cathode side is sodium chloride, table salt. So this is not lithium table ion? Salt. It's not uh, lithium ion. It is not lithium ion, unrelated to lithium ion. And, uh, I think there's nothing that's the same as lithium ion. There's no, there's no lithium, there's no nothing? Not, no, yeah, here, here are nothing the main similar. ingredients. So we have sodium chloride, we have carbon, we have silicon oxide, sand, and we have sulfur. So those are the, the main ingredients in the battery. How much of each and everything? Is that a secret? That's a secret. I can't tell you that. <laughs> so so uh, is this really going to be twice as better than uh, lithium ion? Yeah. So right now, this is what, what we have here is the first generation. So this cell is what we call our Gen 1 cell. And this is about 300 watt hours per kilogram when we're in production. And then we're also working on the next generation of battery, which should be above 400 watt hours per kilogram when we're in production. So right now these are handmade, so they're not that that good yet, but they will be soon. So 300 gram what, hours. Watt hours per. Watt hours per, per kilogram. How, how does that compare with lithium ions? So the very best lithium ions today are around 250, and a typical one is around 150. So if you're buying the best Panasonic ones, you're around 250. So uh, you're definitely better already. Yeah, well, let's put it this way. In the coin cell level, we have tested all the different layers, and if you add those layers in their optimal ratio, we're already better. But these are still handmade, nothing is yet optimized, so these are not yet better. So this is about 100 watt hours per kilogram handmade. Is this, is this safe? Sure. You've done all the safety testing? We have not done all the safety testing, Because no. you were talking about safety testing in the last one. Yeah. Uh, how do you do all this? Uh, well, there's lots of standard tests. Do? There's uh, fire tests and puncture tests and crush tests and all sorts of different things you do. So we haven't done any of those yet. So we're just making our first cylindrical cell batteries now. And, and uh, these are, again, made by hand. So Made by are, hand. These are not production items yet. And what changes when it becomes production? Well, then we can optimize the layers and get better control and uniformity and repeatability. So right now, these are literally made, uh, you know, on like your kitchen table with, uh, with let's like making bread and rolling dough and things like that. So. And how about recharge cycles? Yeah, so far we're up to 200, again in prototypes, and we plan to be above 500 in let's say three to six months, and that's when we think we're ready to start going. Great, no? Five well, is like a lithium ion kind of. Yeah, that's a that's a, a high energy lithium ion. It's around 500 to 1000. And yeah. how much do you lose when you recharge so much? Do you how lose much some percentage? You... Yeah, so the batteries actually ours are a bit unique in another way. They actually get better for a while and then they're stable and then they start to degrade. <laughs> so nice. um, different chemistry, very different chemistry than lithium ion. And these uh, materials right there. Yeah. Uh, can we find them everywhere? Yeah, those are very common abundant materials. Very cheap, available everywhere. Nobody controls them. You don't need to worry about blood cobalt or anything like that. And it totally works. Yeah. It's very bright. It powers um, like like uh, it's going to be the cars. It's going to yeah. be smartphones. Yeah. It's going to be everything. Yeah. So we plan to completely replace lithium ion in the future. The first thing we're doing are these cylindrical cells. So applications where you need these. This, this is like a factor. standard form factor that's yeah, very is, popular, right? This is the most popular form factor for cells in battery packs. I thought it was double A, triple A, or something. No, that's for your home stuff. But in industrial applications, this is the most common. And then you will do coins, and you will do uh, EV batteries. Yeah. Uh, how soon? As soon as the Tesla comes over and says, "Let's do it." Something like that. <laughs> Can you make a broad bit giga factory? Sure. Well, give us some money, and we'll make a factory. How, how long time does it take? So what we're hoping. Comes with money. How, how, yeah, we're how hoping to be in small-scale production at the end of next year. That's the goal. Uh, I don't know if we can reach that, but uh, we're going to try to be in Q4 next year in small-scale production. Yeah, but small. It's well, how about big? Well, big is how, next. Can you get bigger sooner? First. <laughs> well, we have to go through all the. We're still not done with R and D, as I mentioned. We're at now at 200 cycles. We need to get double or triple that to start entering the market and uh, there's all the safety qualifications, et cetera, et cetera. So there's still a lot of work to do before we're actually on the market. 